Yeah, it was just full of all kinds oh, of wow. junk and we just in there. So we got a call for a Jeep that is on the beach in Sand Hollow. Apparently it's disabled. It needs to be pulled back to the road so that their insurance can come pick it up. So we're going to head out here, see if we can get him. We just passed him on the freeway. We could see him off to the side. So he's out there. Super hot today. I think like 115 is what it's saying. We'll be all right. We'll go get him. We got the AC cranked. It ain't keeping up, but it is cranked. It's a little cool air coming out of there. We got Rhett to swing the camera. Not sure if I'm ready for this heat. It's the hottest day of the summer so far. Well, Rhett, we'll let you splash in the lake. I should have worn shorts. <laughs> How's it going? You too. Man, with this really hot, really dry weather, the sand turns into just this fluffy mess of hotness and uh, entrapment. So we're gonna look at some of that today. We might have to start airing down. It might be time to go down a little with these tires. What are you running them at right now? I think I'm at nine pounds right now, but I think last summer we were getting down in the five and six pound. Ooh, that's low, soft sand. low, yeah. low, all right. We'll see how it does today. Are we getting closer? Yeah, we're gonna cross country it here. We need hubs? Not yet, I'm putting it in the low, well, I don't know. Putting Soon. it in the low range. Right in front of us. Yeah, right now. Let's see what they're doing. Yeah. How's it going? Oh, it's not great. But... Yeah. Oh, it's not working. So no start. So it'll well, start and run, but when we turned it on and it was running, I it's completely blown. Nothing was happening. They were blowing all over. So like, better oh. to leave it off. Yeah. yeah, we looked in the overflow and there is like debris and pebbles and rocks. There. Yeah, it was just full of all kinds oh, of wow. And we just barely, like in March, replaced the radiator and it's all brand new hoses and everything. So like, how did that all get in there? Okay, what I'm going to do, Tom, is we're going to build a bridle off, the front. off of the lower... Uh, problem is those things spin. Uh, I think we're good though. Let's just build a bridle off of the lower seas. Okay. And then we'll pull this way and try to get up enough speed. We might end up doubling back and heading this way to get it up through. When they're dead, they're a hard pull. Yeah. We'll get yeah. it. We verified in the last job, this sand is going to be about 140 degrees. All we got to do is just lay in it. Thinking even though these are going to be spinning, they're not going to get into it in a meaningful way. I'm hoping. Thinking, hoping. All right. I think that'll stay low enough. Okay. Going to have to have the key on so that the Steering wheel doesn't lock. doesn't lock up. I got the transfer case in neutral. Neutral, 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 and just try to keep my wheels straight or point them at the rope. Yeah, and that's straight right there. So the plan is to go around that picnic table and double back. And it's going to be bad. We might have to dip kind of low here, and then we're heading for that concrete there. Well, I got no choice but to follow you. Yeah, and regardless of where you want to go, it's more important to keep those wheels lined up with the rope. So don't fight it or it stops it. Okay. I'm gonna tighten up and then back up and go. Time to hike in this stuff.
the parking lot up there? Or do you, do you yeah, that, good? Then, yeah that would be great. Okay, let's head up to our one, one of you can jump in here, one of you can jump in here. Is that hot out there? Yeah. I should have brought some water. I'll tell you what, that sand will burn your feet. Yeah. Just put you right here. I'm going to be able to scoop you right up. That'll do it. Mellow. Yeah, she's a little mellow. Yeah. Oh. She's currently on one of Enterprise's famous videos, top in the country. Oh yeah? So if you watch um, Enterprise Rental Cars. Oh, this is a famous dog here, yeah. Enterprise Rentals. She's in the top eight for videos in the running right now. You guys should vote for her. Okay. We have a relationship with Enterprise. Oh. People rent their cars, get them stuck, and we pull them out. out. Exactly. It's, a, it's an unofficial, but very meaningful. Okay, let's get this out of here. Doesn't look like I rubbed my soft shackle over here. This one looks fine. It worked. A little experimenting there. Yeah. Oh, thank you so There's much. Right. Perfect. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Thank you guys so much. We would have been uh, in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> I would have sit there. Well, well, we, need a, we need to figure out a way to run through the sand a little more effectively. How are you doing out there? I could not keep up even close. You know what we should try is snowshoes. They're made for very soft environments. <laughs> Low ground pressure situations. Yeah. So let me tell you something there. So a little while back, long, long time ago, actually, when I first built the Morver, we had a tune on it. And when I would get in the upper like 4,000 RPM range under load, I was getting some gas rattle, getting some, uh, detonation or there's lots of ways to say it pre-ignition whatever whatever and so Tom messed with it a while back and we've never really like we haven't had 115 degrees and a hard heavy load high rpm long sustained pull for uh, since you did that today nothing not not one hint of ping not even All when right. it shifted or so we tuned that out. We yeah. ran it a little richer, a little less timing, none of that. But you're still running 91 octane gas. Yeah, so that time that we had to put the 88 octane in, we were getting gas rattle on the highway. Yeah, not even a stressful Not even a super stressful situation. situation. So this engine's tuned to run 91. So no, we're not throwing our money away. No, we're not extremely rich. We're just running equipment that's been tuned to do a specific job and it takes a specific fuel requirement. So we're heading along, going out to check out the spot where we're setting up for the swamp meet and came across these guys. They just pulled a little bit off the road and got stuck. Google Maps led them the wrong way, so be careful using Google Maps. See, we're from Seattle. In Seattle, you get stuck in the mud, not in the sand. I know, right? That's very deceiving, huh? Oh yeah, you're a little high centered right you there. Wood under here? Yeah, we're gonna. If we can get that up under there. Let's jack them up a little bit. It should immediately start coming up because they're dipped in. Scissor jack it up. I think that'll be good. All right, Rhett, go slowly, pull back. Okay, go ahead and put it in neutral. And then don't touch the brake or the gas and hold the steering wheel just like that. Okay, stop. Okay, now turn hard. Driver, so this way, yep. Okay, keep coming till I tell you to stop. Okay, stop. So you're just coming to San Hollow and? I'm going bird watching. All right. You know, so visiting much. friends, yeah, that no kind problem. of thing. Okay, pull forward. Just turn all the way to passenger. And this way. Okay. Now you're gonna to wanna to back out all the way across right. to the other side. We thought we were gonna be here for hours. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad he spotted you. So yeah, how long were like, you stuck? Not that long. I, I called Triple A. We tried to get it out and we couldn't get it out. Well, you have a wonderful day. Enjoy your time you here in Southern Utah. Have a, have, a, have a wonderful weekend. So we got a call for a Toyota SUV that is stuck in the sand out of Sand Hollow. And they said somebody tried to pull them out and they also got stuck. So we're gonna go check that out. I'm riding in Dig Dug tonight. Uh, Matt's uh, unavailable, still at youth camp. So I got my wife Angela here with me. She'll give you the weather. Hey everybody.
everybody. The weather is 104 degrees, even though we're going into the evening. It's a little toasty for this Idaho girl, but we'll get him out. Thought I'd give you a gas update. My tank rate's zero, but when I start, the needle kind of bounces up a little bit, which tells me it's probably about half a tank. That is the difference between Tom, Tom and I, is I like to fill up, like right when I'm under a half tank, I like it to be on full and Tom does not worry about gas. We'll be fine. That looked like them in the sand, they waved at us, but we gotta drive around to the entrance, so we'll be there in just a minute. Getting official. Okay, we're in sand mode. We'll drive over there and get them out. Yeehaw! It's a little rough and dig dug. I talked about the leaf springs in another episode. We got some suspension upgrades in the works. Oh. I'm gonna back in right now because it's pretty obvious we're gonna be taking them out forward. How's it going? How you good? Good. good. Massachusetts. Right. Yeah. Yep. They don't have sand like this in Massachusetts. No. Yeah. Just sand like this. Just yeah. now. So what's the story? You guys out here having fun? Yep. Yes. Yeah. We're on a road trip to the Grand Canyon right now. And, oh, uh, right on. This was on yep. the way. Here we are now. You're having a good time. Yeah. It looks like you were. Decided to stop. Oh. <laughs> that was a bad move. Yeah. yeah I got to yeah. keep moving in the sand. Two, Two guys trucks. came up. Two we, other trucks. Yeah. yeah they tried we, to help us out, and uh, they got stuck, and we ended up pushing both yeah. of them out. Oh really? So they so we could help them, but they couldn't yeah. help us. All right, yeah, yeah. all right. Well, we'll get you back down to the road, and you guys can check out the Grand Canyon. All Appreciate right. it. Thank you. Yeah, Thank right you. on. I have a shovel. Yeah. Yep. I should. Thanks. That sand is hot. Yeah, I don't like sand. <laughs> yeah, if you can turn the wheel to the right. Have you guys been in the water at all? No, oh, yeah, yeah, that's from this the, is from the salt flat. flats. Yeah, I we went to the salt flat. Can you turn it to the left now? Sure. How was the salt flats? Oh, it was, it was awesome. awesome. It was, was that? I've it never was been out there. Quite yeah, nice. it was it was real fun. We didn't get stuck over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's really excellent. Really, cool. yeah. Okay, I'm gonna hook it up like a bridle, like both sides. So we can pull pretty good. Oh. I connected it without the rope in there. Hmm. Oops. Minor detail. You want to jump in the driver's seat and let's get it all, yeah, get it closed up, ready to go. I'll probably just hit it on this very first time. And this is kind of like a, a bungee rope. It'll yep. stretch a little bit but it'll still be a pretty good snap when okay. that hits. It'll pop you up and I'll see if I can get you on the first one. But try to keep your wheels straight in the sand. It's hard to tell when you start turning. That job went pretty good. I think that was a super fun date night. What do you think, Angela? Uh, I don't know. Uh-oh. Give me your date night ideas in the comments. Thanks for watching. Hey, Matt, can I drive it? <laughs> Probably not. Yeah, it's too perfect.